Where's the camera? Right there, it's on you. Oh, there's the camera? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, this so. is Dario, D-A-R-I-O. Is there a tape for it? She ain't wrote the first name. I got it, I got it. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Is it running now? Yes. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> All right, so for only five cents a day, you can help hunger, you can help cancer. Yeah, we hear all these things all the time. What about if I can tell you that for one vote, you can have one million dollars donated to a foundation or a candidate that can help out kids in hunger, kids with cancer, and kids with disability who have these problems on an every single day basis. My purpose today here is to, to um, persuade you guys to vote for my candidate of the Humanitarian of the Year Award. Uh, I will be speaking to you about who they are, what they do, and why they deserve this Humanitarian of the Year Award. Who they are, first of all. Uh, my candidate is the Gordon Ramsay Foundation. Um, according to, this is a weird name, according to Kushbu Shah, in his article, Gordon Ramsay uh, launches a charitable foundation on his website, eater.com, published an article on the 13th of October, um, 2014, by, uh, it was published by Box Media Incorporation. Uh, this uh, Gordon, the Gordon Ramsay Foundation was made by Gordon Ramsay himself and his wife, Tana, Tana Gordon, uh, in 2014. Even though they are together in this, they actually make it, made it a challenge and had it have them become against each other as well, just to keep it interesting. Uh, they are looking for both ecstatic, passionate uh, people who are who are willing to, to come into uh, come into their foundation and raise the money just as much as they want to. Um, uh, when, when, when it comes to this foundation, what they like to do is they like to challenge people to come up and do things that they like to do, like this triathlon that they have been working on for X amount of years, actually this year only, uh, it's called the GR100. Uh, that's just about who they are, I'm not going to get into what they are because that's the next topic, but they, they, they are a wife and husband and they've made this foundation to help out other foundations and other charities to donate money for these causes and problems. Uh, so what do they do? According to Ramsey and Tana Gordon themselves on their website, Gordon Ramsey Foundation, in the section The Foundation, they pub it was published by Gordon Ramsey Holdings and yeah, Hold Holdings Limited in 2014. Uh, what they do, which is what I'm talking about now, what they do is they help other charities and other foundations donate, well, they donate money to these foundations so they can help other foundations help the people in need. Uh, one of the foundations that they've, that they've helped out is the Cancer Research in the UK and their goal is to bring forward the day that all cancers are cured. That's what they posted on their website. Uh, Ramsey Gordon on this website that I was talking about that I previously mentioned. Um, they also help the Scottish Spina Bifida Association. I don't know what that stands for, but their goal is to support all of those affected by disabilities, which is what I spoke about in the, in the introduction. Uh, another, another association that they help is the Action Against Hunger, committed to ending child hunger and malnutrition. So while, while they are hosting all their events and while they're hosting all their charities and everything to help these other foundations, what they do is that they give the money that they make to these foundations to help hunger, help the disability, and help the people who, are, who have cancer. Uh, but that's just a little bit about what they do. On their website, uh, Gordon Ramsay Foundation, you can find out a lot more information about uh, how they're helping out these other foundations. Um, so now that I spoke about what they do, I'm going to talk to you about what I feel they deserve to win this Humanitarian of the Year Award. According to Laura Silverman in her website, The Telegraph, on her article, Gordon Ramsay Triathlons Are My Release, published by the Telegraph Media Group on October 12, 2014. Although Ramsey Gordon is known for his huge success on national TV with his programs about cooking and Hell's Kitchen and, and all these other programs, he actually really likes to work out a lot. And he is hosting, him and his wife are hosting the GR100, which stands for Gordon Ramsey 100. And it's a triathlon that, um, that helps not only them get fit and the people who are, who are participating get fit, but they also help raise a lot of money. As a matter of fact, the people who participate in that, in that triathlon, not only do they have to pay to get in it, they pay almost $4,000 in US dollars, and they pay what seems to be 3,900 uh, euros, which is uh, other money. 
the, like the French and all that stuff. But um, yeah, so if, if you could imagine how much they can raise out of just 15 people going there, or 15 people applying, maybe if they don't even actually participate in the triathlon, but if they just apply, they'll be already donating almost 4,000 US dollars. So this foundation that only helps other foundations, which is a big do. Um, another, another reason why I feel like they would be the perfect candidate for the Humanitarian of the Year Award is because not only will they be getting the people who participate in this, in this triathlon to donate their money, but they also would get this million dollars that would, help, would, that would help them benefit the people who are participating in the triathlon and would help them benefit more of the other charities donating here and there, both from their money, both from the Humanitarian of the Year Award money, and both, um, from the people who are participating. Um, so in conclusion, I feel like my candidate are perfect and the most perfect candidate for the Humanitarian of the Year Award because Gordon Ramsay and his foundation with his wife uh, help not only one foundation, they, they are a foundation helping other foundations who, uh, who help people who are in hunger, people who have cancer, and people who have disabilities. So when you're eating your next meal, whenever that may be, maybe even a couple hours from now, just remember that just the vote could have helped this foundation help other foundations help the people who are in need. So I'm asking you now to vote for my candidate, Gordon Ramsay Foundation, as the Humanitarian of the Year. Thank you. You got that? That was good, right?